This is Pastor Chef. Welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for joining us. My name is Christopher Devon Stackhouse, senior pastor of Lewis Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, where we want all of God's children to know you belong here. This is Pastor Chef. Behind me is Pastor Chef's Kitchen, where we cook all kinds of wonderful dishes with special guest chefs every week. And this week we have another great special guest chef. I'll let him introduce himself. Hey, my name is Frankie Moody. And should I get my dish now or? You oh, well, I mean, and you finished guessing. No, you know, see, what, what you didn't see right before we started was I was looking at all of the ingredients here. And our ingredients are uh, onions and green peppers and, uh, you know, vinegar and sugar and tomato soup and carrots. And uh, I, I was racking my brain trying to figure out what dish we're going to make with, with this. Uh, these things, okay. These things, okay, but bottom line, the conclusion is, I have no idea what we're gonna make. So, so what are we gonna make, sir? And then he asked, where's the meat? <laughs> yeah, which, which I did, because I, I figured I was missing an ingredient here, but they, they informed me that no, I, everything that's gonna be uh, used is already right here, so, uh, yeah. no, this, I, what is it? This dish is called a copper penny carrot salad. Copper penny carrot salad. All right, okay. let's let's get going with our All copper right. penny copper penny carrot salad. Okay, but well the first thing we're gonna do. Where did you get this recipe from? I have to ask. From my wife. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, well, shout out to Sister uh, Brenda Moody for uh, for a great re for what I am assuming is gonna be a great recipe. We'll make it work. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to, one part of this recipe calls for ingredients that have to be heated. Got it. So what we're gonna do first of all is combine those ingredients. Okay. And one of the ingredients, of course, is that. All right. So you just uh, open that. Can of tomato soup. Okay. Campbell's if you like. We have a, a little yeah. item to help you with that. Yeah, all right. Thank you, sir. Oh, and uh, and what what you also may not know is that uh, Brother Moody is a deacon in our church. Uh, how long you been a uh, deacon in Lewis Chapel, sir? She whips. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you today. <laughs> All right, so we have our 10 years, 15. Oh, I say about 15. About, about 15. Okay. Okay, our next item that you want to put in there, you, we need to do one fourth cup of the olive oil. One fourth cup of olive oil, got it. I think that's a cup. Yeah, it is a cup. So you probably have to use this. Yeah. Adventures in cooking. That's right. Hey, sometimes you just have to wing it, Pastor. You do. You do. All right, so that's a fourth of a cup, or at least a fourth of a cup. Of Close enough to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add one half a cup of vinegar. Half a cup of vinegar. Now I got that. I, I know I can do a half a cup. And we'll use this same measuring cup because yes, sir. Uh, we have a dry item. So if we use that other one, we have it wet. Yes, sir. That's what you're getting better. Well, First you know, if you if you give me a if you give me a, a few instructions, then hopefully as time goes by, I get I get better at executing. Okay, now we need one cup of sugar. Cup of sugar. All right. Yep, another cup. Okay. 
So now you want to stir all this stuff in, get it nice and mixed up right. together. And then we'll put it on the stove. All right, we'll put it on the stove. What does the heat need to be at? Well, you, don't you want to bring it to a boil, so you don't you don't really want it to be really high, because what that what happened then is you will have sticking unnecessarily. So if you you keep the heat kind of low, but most of us are going to if we turn it on too low, we're going to sort of come back and tweak it. So got it. So we need a kind of kind of low heat, but not too low. Yeah, we need low heat, but not so too we feel low. good about. Okay, all right. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and open our carrot. Um, all right. I like tasks. I know I can, I can, I can do well and excel. And opening up a can is uh, the one I think I can do. All right. Do pretty good. Well, what we'll do is we'll drain the juice from the carrots into one of the, one of the measuring cups. What we'll do is we'll take our green pepper. Okay. And what you're going to do is take the paring knife and you're going to cut around the stem. And what your goal is to move the stem. And as we go along, we're going to make sure to move all of the seeds also. Easy enough. All right. No, no, no. As close as you can to the close as I can to the stem. Got it. Got it. Is that too far out from That's the fine. stem? That's fine. It ain't got to be. It's not critical. It's just. Ah, there we go. All right. All right. Put it in there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to just lay it on its side. Like that? You're going to slice. You're going to slice it. Okay. It's sort of like an onion ring, but you can probably do a bigger knife than that. Yeah. I think that one's pink hound. You want to get them real thick. You say, I do want them thick or I don't? You don't. You don't, don't. want them real thick. So All right. What about starting about right there? So right, that'd be good. Okay. All right, the part I've been looking forward to. And you have a trick with the onions, right? Yes, I, yes, I do. It, it let me down last time. It I'll did. be honest with you. It, it let me down last mm. time. And uh, but I, I still haven't lost, lost hope in it, but it did let me down last time. So I gotta get rid of this this outer layer, right? Right. This, uh. The bell peppers. Got it. All right. Put just a little bit thicker so a little bit thicker. get it to stay together. A All right. Now, do you need a minute to sort of wipe your eyes? <laughs> I think I'm gonna be all right. I think I'm gonna be all right. I think I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> I think maybe. I should have put a glove on. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I, I know whose hand I'm shaking first. Uh, but I'll leave you out of here. Give it a stir and I don't know how hot that is. Is that the consistency that'd we're looking for? Yeah, that'd be fine. All right. Pretty watery is, is what we want. Got yep. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you stirred up anymore? Is that good? No, that's good. Okay, we can just leave that here temporarily. All right. So we take that off the heat and just leave. Right, that'd be fine. Okay. Oh, we're gonna be Certainly the, okay. the slowest part, at least when I'm cooking it, okay. you're the slowest part. Now what you gotta do now is you got to take carrots and make a layer in the bottom of this dish. Okay. All right. Okay, the 
now we'll pour our mixture in. Yeah. That you're pouring in. Okay. So we only have we have but one of these. Right. And we gotta make sure we get it right. So I'm gonna defer to you to make sure that the pouring goes right. <laughs> well, I'm always up for a challenge. All right, here we go. I think that was easier than at home. <laughs> Looks good to me. There you go. All we have to do now is, is put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for tomorrow. Okay, so you make this today for tomorrow. Right. Oh, that's bad news for all our impatient eaters. Yeah, you gotta wait a whole day. But all right. Well, we'll put this, we'll put this in. I think we have a chill version of it. All right, we'll, we'll be right back. All right, our copper penny carrot salad is done. It's chilled, it's bold. Uh, so we're gonna pray and we are going to eat this dish that I have never heard of, but <laughs> was very easy to make and I anticipate, I anticipate good and great things from this, uh, combination of flavor. So let's pray and let's eat. God, we thank you for this food. We thank you for the Moody's coming into Pastor Chef's kitchen to share this not only with us, but with the world. Please bless this food and use it for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. 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 All right, let's, let's grab some. <laughs> thank you, sir. I think she was going to get the lunch without onions in. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. So you can get some of the hard All right. This is good. Let me eat it. There we go. This is good. So you didn't give it to me. You done started, right? Mm. I like this. Mm. It is, uh... Oh, it is smooth. It's sweeter than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Where is food at? There's one in that, uh, there's a label in that uh, <laughs> stand over there. Okay. And she goes for real. <laughs> <laughs> have any I don't want to go as far. There's a wind over there. This is, uh, it's sweeter than you would think it is. Of course, it's healthy because it's all vegetables. Um, if you are, if you want to find something that is that is healthy and still flavorful, and probably more than likely something you have not tried before, you need to give this. You need to give this a try. It, it's quick to make, it's easy to make, and you only live once. Try something new. <laughs> try something new. And while you're trying something new, make sure you try the copper penny carrot salad. Got it, all right, I got it. A copper penny carrot salad. Uh, and I didn't get a chance to introduce you to one of the people who stepped in to uh, taste the copper penny carrot salad. And it is the uh, person who shared the recipe with her husband. It is Sister Moody herself. Sister Moody, what, you wanna wave and say anything to anybody? You wanna say anything to anybody, Sister Moody? You need a shout out. All right, sir, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for coming and for sharing this, this recipe. Uh, and I hope that, that people try it. And I, I'm sure if they do, they'll find it to uh, to be good and flavorful, just like we did it in is. the kitchen. Because and we, then I we thought yeah, we, we were all I we were all suspect. like, I've never heard of it before. I was suspect. We we were all like, I've never heard of it before. But it never really it. it really is a it's a good dish. Is sweet and healthy, and, yeah. and which is a hard combination to get sweet and healthy. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Any anybody anybody you want to say hello to? Either one of you on the way out, any family or friends, anything like that? Tell hello to our son Frankie Jr., daughter Natasha, granddaughter Diamond, 
and all the Moody, Powell, Thompson, Bass, Blaylock, all that clan. All down in Lumberton. <laughs> and all, all down in Lumberton and Raleigh. Yeah, and all of that, that crew. Okay, well, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, is this our last show for the month? We have, that's right, because we have, all right, so we have one more, uh, one more deacon who's coming to, uh, to be a part of this, part of this cookie. So we'll see you next week. We'll see you next time. Until then, be safe, be blessed. Take care. Bye. 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 I'm going to get